Do you know what a hand job is? Yes, I know what it is. Do you do that? I have done it. <laughs> you asked, I answered honestly. Thank you. That's the name of the show, right? To be honest. Hi. Who the hell are you two? <laughs> I'm Sarah. This is my mom, Jenny. Hi, I'm Jenny. How do you two know each other? It's my mom. It's my son. Do you feel like you really know your mother? I don't know anyone that knows her better. How well do you know your mom? I think I know you pretty good. What's your mom like? She's kind of dedicated her life for me and my sisters. I really love her. So. It made me cry. <laughs> Today, we're playing TBH. This is based on our new game. What's that stand for? Do you know what TBH is? TVH? It means to be honest. Oh! We're gonna pose some outrageous, slightly inappropriate questions, and you have to guess whether your mom said yes or no. Oh. Mm. Okay. We're ready. Oh, I'm excited. First question. An alien says he has the technology to give Earth infinite clean energy and put an end to the disastrous effects of climate change. In return, your mom, specifically, has to jack him off every day for the rest of her life. Is your mom jerking off this sexy alien every day to save the world? Do you know what a hand job is? Do you know what that means? <laughs> I would say no. Yes, I know what it is. Do you do that? I have done it. You asked, I answered honestly. Thank you. That's the name of the show, right? To be honest. I think that she cares enough about the planet that she would absolutely do that. I would be upset if you said no. She definitely would like the aliens and want to talk to the aliens and take the aliens to church and all that stuff, but Gleep Glorp is not getting his rocks off, especially if my dad has anything to say with it. <laughs> what did you say? No. I think that she said yes, that she would absolutely do that. I said yes. It's a good sacrifice. I would do that. I said I would take one for the team. Well, it's what, for the rest of your <clears throat> life? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's the rest of my life? Because <laughs> then if you die, I don't know what happens. They'd have to find somebody Or does it new. go on to me then? Is it mine? It's a hereditary thing. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, here's another question that your mom answered. Okay. Your kid accidentally runs over a stranger on the street, killing them on the spot. In a panic, they stuff the body in their trunk. They call you to help dispose of the body. Do you help them? We just had this conversation the other night. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. What would your preferred method be? I would probably take it on a boat out into the Pacific, throw it over, and that's how I do it. Morally, you probably want to, like, call the cops. Would your mom help you dispose of a body? No, 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 no. I don't think you would help me. She's a paralegal. She works for a lawyer. She let me get my last meal. That's what you would do. I'll get a last home-cooked meal before I went to jail. I think you wouldn't help me hide it. What did you say? I said no. We'd have to do the right thing. You would rather your daughter rot in prison <laughs> than help her. I would be there with you, but I would not dispose him because I would never want that to happen to me. You and your partner sign up for swing dancing classes. When you arrive, you learn it's a dance class for swingers. You can't dance with your own partner. Do you stay and dance? It's probably gonna lead to couples sex. Has anyone asked you to? Yes. Ew. But you don't know them. Good. It's a long time ago. Okay, good. Have you ever invited a third party to the bedroom? No, never. Oh. Are you disappointed yeah, in me? Yeah, that would have been fun. I'm gonna say yes. Absolutely not. Oh. Has anybody ever seen you and dad have been like, you guys look good to go, we're good to go, let's all just go no. at it? No. No? Boring. You probably said no. Oh, you <gasps> said yes. No way. And you know, you only live once. It's been a while. It's been a while. When was your last hookup? Like 10 years ago. Oh, wow. I've been raising children. Eh, we're over 18 now. You awake one night to see your younger self standing at the foot of your bed. Past you has traveled in time and propositions you for sex. Your mom has sex with herself. Aren't you a virgin? Is that masturbation if you do it with you? <laughs> You're straight that I know of, so I don't know if you would like want to do that. You could be hiding that you like women, and I just don't know it. All these years. We go to Mexico with your friends. I don't know what happens. <laughs> I think she said no. You said no. I think that you said no. I did say no. No nastiness or whatever, but my mom would encourage her younger self to do all the hot girl stuff. You are so right. Are you surprised that your mom said yes? Nothing that she does surprises me <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Your partner heard about a new sex position called the glazed donut with sprinkles. It involves both of your butts. Do you go for it? Probably. At least once. Why would you say at least once? Well, to know if you like it or not. So if your partner was like, hey, I'm like interested, you want to do this? You'd be like, well, I'll try it. Would you say that you were adventurous or were you more basic? 
I could be adventurous, but overall more basic. Okay. You ever use like whipped cream or anything? Sometimes. Oh, sure. sometimes? Sure. Okay, well then mm -hmm. I'm gonna say yes. Uh, I said yes. Would you do it though? Would you do this? Oh yeah, like, donuts, I love food. Donut? You know, I love food. Okay. <laughs> it involves butts though. Is that cool? As long as your dad's butt. I said no. Really? No. Why? Because at the butt region. And you don't that's, like it? No. How do you know you don't like it? Well, I guess that's true. She knows me. I order the same thing at every single restaurant. I like things the same. I don't like change, so. Yes, I would try the butt, the <laughs> sprinkle thing. <laughs> yes. Please don't let me catch you with sprinkles on the couch one night. Your partner got intoxicated and hooked up with an ex. They only did hand stuff. They deeply regret it and ask for your forgiveness. Does your mom stay with her partner? Have you ever been cheated on? Not when I was married, but I have had a relationship, a previous relationship where somebody cheated on me. Well, how did you feel when you found out that you were cheated on the first oh, time? Oh, it broke my heart. Did they do hand stuff or fully have sex? Oh, I think they fully had sex. Okay. I think if dad would have done that to you, you would have packed your bags and left. He would definitely get like beat up. Who's beating them up? Me. Oh. Yeah, there'd be a smackdown for sure. There would be some physical contact. I think any form of intimacy, sexual or otherwise, is is cheating. And I think that she would agree. Um, no. Yes. After the smackdown. After the smackdown. I think yes, you stayed with them. I said yes. Did you say yes or no? I'd fucking kick him to the curb. Your kid has begun a new career in the porn industry. They are set to film their first scene in one week. Mm -hmm. Do you think your mom would try to convince you to not go through with it? I would never say you can't do that, but I wouldn't want you to weigh your choices and I would probably help you to figure out, you know, what's that gonna do for your future? I think that you would try to talk me out of it. Yeah, I said yes. I would try to talk her out of it. I feel like if it was not hurting nobody, if I was not on the drugs, if I had like the, the popping OnlyFans, if you seen the money I was getting to, no, no way. Yes, I would try to convince you not to. And don't say money. I'm not moved by money. I think she would make me cancel it. And I said yes. I would try to convince her. Why would you be uncomfortable with me doing porn? The thought of like, God knows who would be watching that movie. Have you ever made a sex tape? Is there footage of you? No, there is not like moving footage. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? There's not moving footage. There's photos. What are they, Polaroids? It was a very special moment, I hope. Yes, good. Did you two learn anything about each other? I think I yeah. learned a lot of things, actually. I didn't learn too much about her, but I think she learned more about me. What did you learn about each other? I'm reminded of like just where my morals come from. Very respectable answers. I feel like I got to know you more. Oh, well, there you go. We had a bonding moment. Yeah. Thank you for the bonding moment. Do you think your mom's a good person? I think my mom was like the best person. The pinnacle of goodness is pretty much her, and then the Pope. 